Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be a really good one. We are tackling my pantry, which is right behind me. Um, we moved in our house about five and a half months ago. Um, we moved here from California, if you are new, but I just kind of used bins that we had in our pantry last time and then just bins that we had around. I kind of just used those to organize the pantry but some things are working some things are not and i know that I, while it's not horrible i can add a few things in to make it that much better so um this video we're not going to make it perfect but we're going to make it better and more functional than what we're working with i'm going to give you guys a closer look and we're going to check out the pantry this is what we are working with. In California, I literally, I didn't even have, I had like a cabinet that I use as my pantry. So this is definitely a big upgrade. Um, on the top shelf, we just have like some bins up there, more bins. I do have, these are like dollar store bins, which I'm going to reuse them. I've had them now for about five years and they've held up great. I do have some lazy a uh, lazy susan here i did have a spice rack but let me show you guys what i did we needed some storage in here so i moved the spice rack that was in there in here and then this lazy susan in this cabinet which makes it more functional and better because everything was just kind of thrown in there but so I bought new ones. I'm going to show you guys that in a second for here. Um, I do still need to get a Lazy Susan for this um, stuff. Like I told you, it's going to be better, not perfect, but I know it'll be way more functional. And we have more bins. This is kind of like Brooklyn's snack area, so stuff that she can grab out. And then here we have like spare parts. I just need to go for like our bigger appliances that are down here, which actually I like them down here. They're easy to pick up and put on the counter and I don't want them out on my counter. So I like them down here. Um, we do have, this is just like spare parts for this stuff, extra snacks, snacks. This is all of our Ziploc bags. I actually like having them down there. These are like school lunch things. So she's actually at school right now, my daughter. She's in kindergarten. But um, this is like her extra things, um, like straws and stuff like that. Things that I put in school lunches, like cute napkins. And then this is like my husband's bin, which I'm just probably going to clean it out. But it has like his protein powder, vitamins, and all that stuff. And then down here, I know I need to get like a basket. This is um, just like extra oils and stuff. Like we never fry things, but we had that from Thanksgiving. Um, and then wine to make linguisa, which we did over the holiday season. So that I kind of need a bin for that stuff. But... I'll show you what I picked up. We usually keep like alcohol stuff there. There's an extra wine opener. We're just gonna make it look more tidy and much better. Like I said, it's not horrible. And a lot of this stuff has been functioning really well, but we're just gonna zhuzh it up a little bit and make it better. I do love, we hung up this um, these hooks for my cutting board. I love that. And then we do have a step stool in there. That's perfect, my daughter, to reach things. And then when she helps me cook at the counters, it helps as well. But I'll step back. There's my pantry. Has double doors. And look how high the it goes up. But we're going to make it more functional and look a little bit prettier. Over here, I picked up a few new things. They're actually all from Aldi. So these bins, these little canisters... I picked up two packs of those. These were $14.99 from Aldi. Um, this one is rinsed out. I need to rinse out that pack. And then these, um, these are, I'm going to use those as the spice racks in there. And they came with labels. I don't think I'm going to use labels or label anything. We kind of know where stuff is. Um, and I feel like you change stuff so often that we don't really need the labels, but... So these were $7.99 from Aldi as well. So. so step one, and I have you guys pretty far back because I'm going to be spreading stuff all over. We are going to move everything out of the pantry. So 
I'm gonna take everything out. I'm gonna be putting it in a few sections. So like snack foods I'll put together, um, pasta and rice I'll put together, um, miscellaneous items, all that stuff. I'm kind of gonna section everything out. I know nothing's really expired in there because like I said, we've only been here five and a half months. Um, but I'll check dates and stuff as well, but I'm gonna go through and section everything off I probably won't remove the stuff from the bottom quite yet, but the top shelves maybe the top two I'll start there. So I'm not super overwhelmed, but let's get started clearing out this pantry Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me now Till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind That I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here are out we have like all of our um, sprinkles and baking stuff here with some toothpicks um, that's a bottle of wine that my husband's grandpa made but we have some oil a little bit of alcohol in this bin we have like aluminum foil liners for the drawers which all my drawers are lined. I just need to finish like a few in the kitchen and then like extra cups and stuff. Like if we have people over, this one looks like it's all baking. The, the bins are not crazy disorganized, but more baking stuff. And then this actually we just got yesterday for we're making Rice Krispie treats. Um, over here is like bakeware stuff and then grill stuff. And then here, I feel like some of this stuff I'm going to be putting in the containers. But this is like extra pasta. This is all rice, pasta, that kind of stuff. Um, mashed potatoes. This is extra pasta, tortillas, like gravy packets, fish fry, like all of that kind of stuff in there. So I wiped off the top shelf. I'm gonna wipe off the second one and then I'm gonna start like putting things back in. Stay with me now till the morning. Stay till the morning. 
These are kind of staple items. We always have some cashews. These are just regular dry peanuts, pita chips, um, veggie straws are on rotation, rice cakes, and oyster crackers. Those are things that we always have that I can refill those with. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me When I let you go I feel alone And I'm just singing mm, mm, mm. It should have been you Another time, another place, I just know mm -hmm. It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go mm -hmm. Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be driving to your place But now the crown is shaking but it feels like it will never go away Until we make up I can't be myself I never knew how much I needed you mm -hmm. It should have been you Another time, another place I just know finish product I am loving it so we're gonna start um, we'll start from the top so on the top we still have that basket that's like grill stuff this is all of my placemats they're a cake stand and then I did all of the baking stuff up here because we don't use it that often um, so that's up there up here we have some like plastic party supplies like cups and stuff and then I put my aluminum foil and then my liners in there and then alcohol in that corner um you come down to this shelf we have all our spices and herbs and I'm loving these from Aldi remember those were just $7.99 from Aldi so good and I love this Lazy Susan all of my Lazy Susans I think are from home home goods I get them at an great price guys so we have that one this one has all of the like the decorating right below decorating for like cakes cookies all of that stuff sprinkles are there then over here we have pastas potatoes 
um, like potatoes in a bag. All of that, those kits there, and then this is kind of a miscellaneous. You come down to this row, we have, um, these jars are actually from the Target dollar spot years ago, but you can grab big mason jars for just really affordable prices. But I have my um, uh, flowers in here. I have almond and coconut. And then I have a Lazy Susan for like the canned goods. We don't, we never have a ton of canned items, but they're on the Lazy Susan, and then you can stack them too high and it'll still work and fit. So there you go. And then the canisters, the ones I picked up from Aldi, these um, are holding just kind of items that we always have that I know that will refill. So this is pita chips, and then we have some rice back there, um, crackers, rice cakes, and then our nut group, these are salted cashews, and then that's um, peanuts back there. And then we have our cereal, and then crackers in those bins. These bins are from Home Goods years ago. And then you come down, this is kind of like the snack area. These are like overflow snacks, but we have these two trivets, which are also from Home Goods. They are loaded with snacks, kid snacks. Also this, this is from Home Goods as well, loaded with kid snacks. And then these are the potato chips. Um, bottom shelf, I have this, which is the parts for all um, these large appliances. So parts are there, more overflowed snacks. We like to keep our Ziploc bags in just like a bin. It just works for our family. This is napkins and stuff like that that I do for lunches, straws, all of that. Brooklyn's lunch stuff. And then this whole bin is like coffee, tea, and honey, and sugar, everything that I would use for my tea. And then this bin is for my husband. It's all of his stuff, protein powder, pre-workout, all of that. I still need to grab a bin to put this in so just so it looks a little bit better for like larger items like we never use oil, the oil but that is from like the holiday season that's the wine that we use to cook our um cook linguisa just like overflow big items i just need to find like a basket for those and then these are our larger appliances one of my favorite things is this we put this hook here um, it's from Amazon, and we can put our cutting board there, and there's our little step stool from Tractor Supply that my daughter uses to get things out of the pantry, but not perfect, but I think it's great. I did not do labels. Um, that would probably be a next step. In my old pantry, everything was labeled, but this one, I feel like a lot of things are see-through, so you can see what they are, and... Um, I really didn't think that there was a need for labels. I know also people like do their spices where they put them in special jars. While it looks aesthetically pleasing, that just doesn't work for us. So we have these spices here and we also have spices in our spice cabinet. But yeah, this is functional for our family. I always tell you guys, you do not have to spend a lot of money to organize your house. My stuff is from Home Goods, all of these acrylics, Aldi. And then these bins, I have had them for six plus years, the white bins, and they are from the Dollar Tree. You could either, in our old house in California, my whole pantry was pretty much Dollar Tree items. So you do not have to spend a lot of money to have your pantry to look nice. And that is it guys, we are done. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And we're gonna keep this, turning this house into a home little series going. Um, I know that people had requested some tours of particular area, areas in our home. So I think I'm gonna do, the first one I'm gonna do is the kitchen where I show you guys all the goods, everything, tell you where we got things from, um, all of that kind of stuff. So that should be coming up soon on all things um, turning this house into a home. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you again very soon with a whole new one. Bye guys. Had a million conversations in my head.